Welcome to Denbyshire and today we're taking you on a whistle stop tour of the county. Behind me is the picturesque Dee Valley. Next stop is Llangollen. Welcome to Llangollen, home of the international musical Eisteddfod, which is actually celebrating its 70th birthday this year. And the events between the 3rd and the 9th of July offers a wide range of music, song and dance. Welcome to the site of the Eisteddfod and behind me is the iconic pavilion building. It may seem quiet now, but during the week the place will be a hive of activity. You join us on Llangollen Bridge high above the River Dee and there's plenty of things to do in the town. From the railway to walking up to the castle, horse-drawn boats, going to Plas Newydd or possibly even venturing to Pont Cysellau Aqueduct, which is a World Heritage Site. We've now moved up the valley to Corwen where Owain Glyndwr is commemorated. Also in Corwen is the Rig Estate, where there's an opportunity for you to see some highland cattle and some bison. And if you're looking for information about things to do in the area, there's a tourist information point here as well. Welcome to Rithin Craft Centre, the leading centre for the applied arts in Wales. And there are plenty of interesting galleries and workshops and exhibitions to view. And next door is Café R, where they serve locally sourced food and drink. Welcome to Denby Castle, an Edwardian fortress that was built in the late 13th century. You'll find the castle high above the town of Denby, and from here you have some commanding views of the Vale of Clwyd and of the surrounding areas. Not far from the town centre, you may come across this sculpture by Joss Smith. Now this sculpture is based on the character Blodeiwedd from the Welsh Mabinogion series and its purpose to encourage people to go up to the castle up there. Welcome to St Margaret's Church in Bodle Withan, known locally as the Marble Church, only a stone's throw away from the busy A55 and across the road from Kinmel Camp, a camp that was actually used during the First World War predominantly by Canadian soldiers. Now many of those soldiers who died during the war are buried here and there's a memorial here to commemorate them. Welcome to St Asaph Cathedral. Now St Asaph is one of the smallest and newest cities in the whole of the UK. And did you know that St Asaph Cathedral is the home of the Welsh Bible? Bishop William Morgan translated it into Welsh. This is Rhidland Local Nature Reserve, situated in the shadow of the town's historic castle. Now this was once a derelict site, but over recent years has been transformed into a haven for local wildlife. Welcome to the seaside resort of Prestatyn. It's a great place for leisure, for shopping and for history. Now if you're looking for some fun and fitness, you should try out the Nova. But if you fancy a walk, why not try Offa's Dyke Trail, which starts here and Chepstow is a mere 182 miles in that direction. Welcome to Ponte Dragon Hill, our last point on our whistle stop tour of Denbyshire. There are plenty of things to do here. We've got the Wales Coastal Path, we've got the National Cycle Route, and we've got miles of stunning coastline for people to enjoy. Plenty of things for the whole family. We hope you enjoy your visit to the Eisteddfod and we look forward to seeing you in Denbyshire soon.